China has achieved an impressive milestone in the field of quantum computing with the creation of a supercomputer that has become the most powerful in the world. This Chinese computer has managed to complete a task that would take conventional machines eight years in just over an hour. It's incredible, isn't it? Let's delve into the details. Researchers have revealed that the quantum supercomputer, known as Zhu Chongji, has set a new milestone in quantum computing and earned the title of the most powerful machine of its kind created to date. The Chinese computer was able to complete a task in about 70 minutes, whereas classical supercomputers would take at least 8 years to accomplish the same. The Chinese supercomputer has 66 qubits, or quantum bits, which gives it a fundamental advantage over classical computing bits. Qubits are not fixed as 0 or 1, they can function as both simultaneously. This is made possible by a quantum phenomenon known as superposition, which exponentially increases computational power. In the test task, Zhu Chongji used 56 qubits to solve a highly complex computational problem involving sampling output distributions of random quantum circuits. This task was considered 100 to 1,000 times more complex than the one performed by Google's quantum computer, known as Sycamore, which has 54 qubits. This demonstrates the performance difference that each qubit can make in the processing capacity of a quantum supercomputer. However, there are differences between these supermachines. Zhu Chongji utilizes circuits with photons, while Sycamore is based on electrons and superconductors. Additionally, there may also be differences in the methods used to calculate the results. Although the title of quantum supremacy is not unprecedented, it is extremely rare, and the researchers involved in the Zhu Chongji project have stated that this achievement opens new pathways in computing. The problem, which has become a reference in quantum computing, involves simulating a quantum circuit and sampling random numbers from its output. This problem exponentially increases in complexity as more qubits are added to the modeled circuit, rendering it intractable for conventional computers as the complexity grows. In 2019, Google announced that its Sycamore processor achieved quantum supremacy, the term given to the point where quantum computers can solve a problem that a classical computer would consider impossible within a reasonable time frame using this problem as a testbed. Today, the PAN team has solved a version of the problem at least 100 times more difficult. The Google processor had 54 qubits and solved a benchmark problem in just 3 minutes and 20 seconds. The Google team stated that it would take 10,000 years for the world's most powerful supercomputer to solve the same version of the problem, although IBM later claimed that their classical supercomputer could have solved it in two and a half days but did not demonstrate it in practice. O processor chins, Chamino Zukanzi, M. Home Jameo Matematico du Seculo V. Zu Chongji, K. Calculu Pi Kamoma Preciso K. Neo Syria Excedida Por 800 Enos, Entretanto, Tem 66 qubits, Masa Ekeep Neo Tem Nenum. Used only 56 qubits in the experiment, solving the problem in about 70 minutes. The researchers state in their article that this is an unequivocal demonstration of quantum supremacy. Quantum computers will definitely not serve the same purposes as classical computers, so we should not expect or worry about the discontinuation of currently used technologies. One possible use of quantum computers is the factorization of large numbers to discover new prime numbers. Even for the most powerful current supercomputers, this is a difficult task that takes a lot of time. Theoretically, quantum computers could perform it much more quickly. Large prime numbers with 128 or even 256 digits are used to encrypt bank passwords, logins, and email passwords to prevent someone from intercepting them and deciphering their content. Theoretically, these computers are good at working with many variables simultaneously, unlike current computers, which have many limitations in performing this type of task. Therefore, it is expected that quantum computers can be used to simulate extremely complex systems such as biological, meteorological, astronomical, molecular systems, etc. Thank you for watching this video and exploring the fascinating world of quantum computing with us. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated with our latest videos, 
make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you won't miss any of our future uploads. We release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, covering a wide range of topics related to quantum computing, from breakthrough discoveries to practical applications. Join our community and be part of the quantum revolution. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to receive alerts whenever we post a new video. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to sharing more exciting content with you. Stay tuned!